Mr. Luke Demeyer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank all the witnesses today for their uh, agency's uh, efforts to try and streamline things and take the burden of regulation off our small businesses. There are job creators, and when you hamper them, you hamper the ability of them to produce the jobs that's going to get us out of this mess. Uh, today, I want to talk to um, uh, Ms. Trottenberg. I've got a couple questions for you. And first, I want to thank your, your, uh, your agency for the help. I know Congressman Graves and I worked on the hours of service issue, and um, you know, we had a little problem with it, and you were willing to sit down, and your agency was willing to sit down and review the uh, the issue and review uh, our concerns about it, and then uh, we were able to get something done in timely fashion. And I hope that you'll be willing to work on that issue with another uh, issue I'm going to bring up uh, here. Uh, my staff should have briefed you or your staff with regards to my issue I'm going to bring up today, which is um, the reinterpretation by uh, your agency with regards to the FMCA uh, interpretation of the exemption of the rule of farmers transporting hazardous materials by requiring them to have a CDL along with alcohol and drug testing um, within 150 mile radius. Originally the rule was 150 miles within the state and the new language according to uh, the new um, statute is 150 air miles regardless of boundary, whether it's a road, whether it's a, a, a political subdivision line, a state line, or it's a, 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 a river, whatever, 150 air miles. And yet your agency made the statement that FMCA treats as equivalent to the farm vehicle drivers, which is the previous definition of operators of a farm vehicle. So as a result, uh, we've gone back to the old definition and sort of muddied the waters, and now we have farmers who are getting ready to go in the field that are unable to transport their things without having to go through the process of getting a CDL license. And so I guess my comment to you is, can we expect some help? Uh, absolutely. I think, and I'm looking over here at the staff, I think <clears throat> the good news is we have been talking to your staff and the Farm Bureau, and I think we're going to have a, a good solution very shortly, and we can brief your staff on the details. But okay. When is that, sh that shortly? I think the shortly is end of May, early June, so within the next few weeks. Okay. Ms. Cook. <clears throat> How important is this to get this done real quickly? You're, you represent all the farmers. Far farming is a seasonal activity, to be sure. And so what's happening right now? Well, it depends on where you are in the country, what's happening. Well, in the Midwest, right now, where most of this is going on, in, my, in, my, in Missouri, where I'm from, what's happening? What's happening right now is that farmers are, are beginning to do their planting. So how important is it to get this done ASAP? It is important. Would you, would you make that into a request of Ms. Ms. Trottenberg? I, I'd that? be happy to work with Ms. Trottenberg and, and okay. DOT. Right. Let, let, let us see what we can do to hurry it along. I, I, I take your point about the, the timing issues on, on It is very important. I know Understood. this is the problem we had with the hours of service issue, and again, it was a situation where the farmers are getting fields right now. This has to be done immediately, otherwise you're going to lose a whole uh, planting season here where these folks are going to be in, in a situation that's going to be crosswise with what they want to try and do here. And remember, farming is a small business. These folks are business people who are trying to make a living and, and do the right thing as well. And I'm curious, uh, whenever the, the rule was proposed, did you go back to the uh, congressional statements that were made during the, the debate on this bill uh, and use that as a, a guideline for the intent of what this rule was supposed to, whenever this was put into law? Did you, did you go back and review that so that you understood the intent of how this was supposed to be handled? Yeah, I mean, when, when, we, when we do rulemaking like this, we do go back and look at congressional intent. I think here clearly, you know, I think we would admit we didn't get it right, and, you know, we're trying to fix it as quickly as possible. Okay. Well, it's kind of curious because I know this was what Mr. Langford of Oklahoma, and he was representing the panhandle and using that as an example of the 150 air miles because obviously if you know anything about Oklahoma, it's got a, a, just a, you know, sliver of land out there. So this, obviously the intent was to be able to go across state lines. So I, I'm... I have a hard time understanding how this could happen. Did you contact the Farm Bureau at all with regards to making this rule before it ever was implemented? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I can check with. I believe we did contact the Farm Bureau, but look, obviously, I, I you know, I think we recognize here we we made some mistakes. We need to fix them, and I take your point. We need to do it expeditiously. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, with that, I, again, uh, I follow up on uh, Chairman uh, Graves' comment a minute ago. Um, uh, I'm kind of curious as well, you know, we're talking about working across agencies here. Did you contact the Department of Agriculture and find out what the kind of impact this was going to have whenever you put this rule out? Yeah, I'm looking over at the staff to see. I, I presume we did. I think we usually are Ms. pretty... Ms. Cook, do you we, know? Yeah, I think we... No, sir, I, 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 would have I think okay. in these types of rules, we, we're in pretty regular communication with USDA. Mm. And USDA didn't throw a fit over this one? 
I didn't observe any fits being thrown. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you do next time. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to throw one here if we don't get this changed, because this is a really big deal to lots and lots of farmers around the country. And as you well know now, Farm Bureau is interested in this. All the ag groups are interested in this. This is a really, really big deal. So uh, I appreciate your looking into it, and we look forward to working with your, your agency. Thank you very much for your time. Now I yield back to balance my time.